everyone, this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all my patrons and my supporters. And as you know, if you've been following my channel, I say it once in a while, I give practical, practical information, information that you can use if you own an electric car, especially a Tesla. And I own two Teslas. And the the if you, I don't know if you paid attention, e, I listened to the whole Q3 uh, call, the earning call. I love this kind of stuff. Uh, from the technology perspective and from the uh, financial and the stock, because I'm a Tesla stock owner as well. So if, if you listen to the whole thing, you if you noticed, there was a hint dropped by Jerome Gillian, Jerome Gillian and uh, Drew ben, ben, Benglino uh, two Tesla high executives regarding uh, batteries and charging. Yeah, we continue the development of the semi, and uh, uh, in particular, mega chargers. We, we realized that the 350 uh, kilowatt or, or or so that uh, we might be looking for cars is not going to be enough for semi. So we're looking for something much more. Uh, the fundamental limitation on charge rate and lithium ion batteries is avoiding lithium plating on the anode. Um, and while the tablet's architecture helps avoid uh, overheating because it's a, a more power dense architecture uh, at high continuous charge rates, it, it doesn't change the anode plating story. Uh, electro design and anode material choice more directly determines the maximum charge rate and how to avoid that lithium plating problem. Okay, so just for you to know, one of the key components of the uh, of a of adapting electric cars are really three things. Number one is price. The, the more the price goes down, more people can afford it. So having a Tesla car in a couple of years for $25,000 is, is, is a game changer. Okay, having a pickup truck next year by Tesla, uh, uh, starting price $39,000 is a game changer. Uh, the Cybertruck and all that. So price is number one. Okay, I can, I, there's a lot of things I want. If I cannot afford them, it's moot. Number two is range. How far can the car go? Well, Tesla cars are now equivalent to gasoline cars. 353 miles for Tesla Model 3, uh, 402 miles for Tesla Model S, 500 plus, 520 plus miles for Tesla uh, Model S Plaid uh, version, and 300 to 500 miles for the pickup truck in the future. So the range for Tesla cars is now equivalent. You can do whatever you want with it. The third and most and, and as important as the as the other two is fast charging capability. Tesla built a tremendous, tremendous uh, a, a supercharging network in the United States and around the world. I used it driving thousands, tens of thousands of miles from Jersey to Florida to Canada and all over the place. Okay, so it's no issue. Now, when you say charging, uh, fast charging, you mean how quickly the car can be in and out of the supercharging station. You know, you go to a gas station, five minutes, you're out, drive another 400 miles, 300 miles, whatever. So in, in supercharging, there are really uh, uh, um, three and a half levels. I call them, they used to have the 70 kilowatt, the early, early ones. Then they have the 120, then they have the 150, the second level, and now they have the 250, the third level, the third version. I used it many, many times. Now, uh, 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 Jerome Ginn slipped in a 350 uh, kilowatt, I would call it level four supercharging, talking about, talking in, in reference to the semi truck, and he said that's not gonna be enough to charge a semi truck fast enough, like those mega chargers. Does that mean that 350 kilowatt uh, fourth generation uh, um, uh, supercharging coming? I hope so. Uh, will Tesla future cars that will have the new battery, the 4680 uh, version, the thicker and taller batteries, will that uh, will be able to accommodate uh, uh, these, uh, these these batteries with this charging? Now remember, remember, remember. Now I, want, I don't want to get too technical with you because it's boring. But remember, when you go to any supercharger, okay, you want to come as low as possible with your uh, with your battery. You want to come really, really low, 10%, 20%. So you can get uh, the fastest charging as possible. But the fast charging, whether it's 120 or 150 or 250 kilowatt, lasts for a very short time. Okay, so when I charge my Model Y, when I come close to empty, 
uh, with my mile wide to a Tesla supercharger, let's say the 250, the level three, the fastest that they have right now. When I come to a supercharger like that, uh, I get the quote unquote 230, 40, 50 uh, kilowatt hour, uh, kilowatt uh, charging speed for like three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, seven, then it goes down rapidly to protect the health of the battery. I still get uh, 170, 180 miles in like 10 minutes, which is spectacular, spectacular. But it's not on the fastest, fastest charging speed that you initially get. You know, once you, after five minutes, it start to go down. Uh, 250, 220, 230, 200, 180, 150, all the way down to 70 at the at the very end, at the tenth minute or, or whatever that is. So that's it. Now, will the new batteries, will the new batteries, the 4680, be able to uh, take 350 kilowatt and charge the car and sustain that, sustain that fast charging capability more longer than three or five minutes? It does. A, a, a charge your Cybertruck or or any of your Tesla cars from zero to eighty percent in five minutes, which is a, a gas station level. That's what it's all about. If you can do that, goodbye gasoline cars. I think goodbye gasoline cars is coming soon. The question is how fast it's going to come. So once you have uh, a pickup trucks, which Americans love. Uh, a small, a small a compact SUVs like the Model Y, which I'm driving now, now, which is the most popular segment. Once you have those affordable, available, and fast charging, that's it, baby. That's it. That's all she wrote. Now remember, 95% of your charging takes place at home. Takes place at home, but people who like to go out, recreation, driving long, long distances. I mean, I cannot do anything with this car without the uh, supercharging. I did not buy a Tesla car until I was comfortable that I can take long trips, and I do, and 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 I treat it as a regular gasoline car. Now, the charging takes time, uh, availability, speed, and all that. Uh, also, uh, uh, lines. And sometimes it's, the supercharger can get very, very busy. So the more they make, the better it is. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.